In this video, I will show you how to download Apex Legends on a PC. And if this video does help you out today, please consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like on the video, and also consider subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate it. With that being said, let's jump straight into the tutorial. So as you can see, I'm here on my desktop. Now Apex Legends is completely free to download and to download it is actually very, very easy to do. But if you do have any questions or comments regarding this tutorial, then please feel free to drop them down in the comments below and I will reply to them as soon as possible. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up a new internet browser. And then from here, what you want to do is navigate to google.com. Now, Apex Legends is by EA, so you can just go onto the EA website, but it's actually a li little bit faster to do it this way. So if you just come across to Google and just go ahead and type Apex Legends into the search. And what you want to do is select the top result where you can see here it says Apex Legends. So just go ahead and give that a click and that's going to take you directly to the Apex Legends page on the EA website. So as I previously mentioned, this is completely free to download and play. And to do this, all you want to do once you've clicked onto this link is go ahead and click the red play free now button down here. And then what you want to do is select the platform that you want to play Apex Legends for. So you can download this for your PlayStation or Xbox if you want to. But of course, because we're doing this on PC today, the options you have available is the EA app for Windows. If you're using a Windows desktop, or you can download this through Steam as well. So what I'm going to do in this tutorial is go for the EA app, which is going to download it for you if you don't have Steam. And all you want to do is go ahead, give that a click, and that's going to take you across to a page that looks like this. So at this point, what I would recommend is just scrolling down a bit and you'll see we've got a option here called system requirements. So if you click on to view, it's going to give you an idea of what kind of system you need to run Apex Legends. So you can see for the minimum requirements, that's all listed here. So what that's going to do is enable you to play it, obviously not with the best graphics or speed, but you will still be able to play the game. But for the best experience possible, you want to follow this one, the recommended requirements. So what you want to do is check your system and see and make sure that you do meet the requirements. So if that's all well and good, then you'll see at the top, you've got this blue play for free button here. So what you want to do is go ahead and give that a click. And if you don't have the EA app installed, you can download that and install it. It's going to take you through the process. So you want to go this one here where it says don't have the EA app. So you want to download and install the EA app first of all. And basically the EA app is similar to things like Steam. It's basically like a games launcher. So what you want to do is download that first by clicking on this link. And it's going to take you through the process to download the EA app for Windows. So if you don't have that downloaded, you can come across to here, download the EA app like so. And what you want to do is just go through, set this up. And what's going to happen, it's just going to take a minute to run through and download the EA apps. So what I would recommend is downloading this first of all because you do need either Steam or the EA app to launch Apex Legends. So once you've got that installed, what we're going to do is open up the EA app and I'll show you what to do next to download and play Apex Legends. So as you can see, I've got the EA app open. So I've downloaded, installed it. Now, if it doesn't open automatically, all you want to do is come down to the search box down here in the bottom left hand corner, click onto the search box and just type EA. And you'll see underneath best match, you can click the app to open up the EA app. So from here, what you can do, you can actually create a EA account if you don't have one, or you can choose to sign into your EA account with some of these options. So you've got like a Google sign in, Facebook, Steam, Xbox, and PlayStation. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to click onto Xbox and what it's going to do is open up a new internet browser page and it's just going to ask you to review the terms. So what you want to do is tick the box and then click the blue next button underneath. And it's as easy as that. You'll see it's now going to say head back to the EA app, you're all set. So what you can do is just close down the internet browser and come back to the EA application. It's just going to take a minute or two on the first load up to load everything through and you'll see we're now here on the app. So what we can now do is search for the Apex Legends game to download and start playing. So to do this, click onto the box here, this search box, then you want to go ahead and type Apex Legends into here. Once that's done, hit enter and you'll see we've got a game here. It says free to play Apex Legends, so just go ahead and give that a click. And then what you can do is you can click the blue download button, which is going to appear. So you just want to go ahead to give that a click. And then it's going to ask you for your install location. So for example, if you've got like a external hard drive, then you can change this here, the install location. Or if you want to install it directly onto your PC, then you can just go ahead and install it like so. 
So at the moment, I've not got my hard drive in, um, connected to my computer, so it's gonna ask me to install it onto my computer, but I've actually got no disk space available at the moment, as you can see down here. It's quite a big game. You actually need 62 gigabytes of disk space available, so make sure you do have that available. If not, you can use an external hard drive and install it onto the external hard drive. So once that's done, you can choose to create a desktop shortcut, and then you wanna click the next button and just run through the installation process. So what I'm going to do is come out of this because what's going to happen once you've downloaded it is it's going to be available in your library. So what you'll need to do is load up this EA application when you want to play. And if you come to the left hand side and click onto library, what's going to happen is it's going to be available to play in here. So you can see my library, I've got three games available. They've got arrows because they're not currently downloaded, but this will change to a play button. So you can go ahead and launch the game from here. So I hope this tutorial helped you out today and if it did I'd really appreciate it if you were to drop down below the video, leave a like on the video and also consider subscribing to the channel. With that being said I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in the next tutorial.